hey guys welcome back to my channel hey before we get into this video i just want to say one thing hey Real Housewives of Durban, okay? Now, episode one, when Noko dropped the bomb that she is actually Sisungwane's baby mama, and I and Ngwane acted shocked or surprised, there was a lot that didn't make sense or rather didn't add up. So, number one, I and Ngwane wrote a book named For the Love of Sisungwane back in 2018. In her own lines, she mentioned that Noko came from a very rich family. Now, there is no way in hell that you can find some deep information about someone, but Yes, you claim you don't know the person. Hmm, Ayanda. Now, number two, when you join a reality show or any other show, you get introduced to the cast members even before the cameras start rolling. Because you guys need to prepare your storylines because they don't take just anybody just because they are rich or have a busy lifestyle. The production team take it simply because you have an interesting storyline full of drama, okay? Because they have to keep those viewers coming, honey, all right? Now, number three. These two, they follow each other on Instagram, meaning they know each other very well. Now, I'm not saying Nongu lied when she said um, her daughter's father is Fisongwane. No, I believe she didn't. Her daughter looks exactly like Fisongwane, okay? The resemblance is quite strong, all right? But as for Ayanda saying that she has never seen Nongu face to face until the show, <laughs> lies on top of lies honey okay now I follow both the ladies on instagram nongo just posted this video on instagram with ayanda busy having fun now to me it doesn't really strike as uh, these two have just met okay but just take a look at this video and let me know at the comment section below i might be wrong honey okay <laughs> Now, do comment below if you've watched the show as yet and what you think of their storyline. For me, besides the made-up storyline of Noko and Ayanda, I'm not really sure about the show, okay? When they say reality show, I think of drama on top of drama, honey, okay? For now, I haven't gotten that, but Zuma's baby mama, um, she's promising. She hasn't appeared on the show, but she's really promising that she'll bring some drama, so we shall see. And also, for me already, I feel like the show has already tarnished his person on his reputation reasons why i am saying that honey okay now out of these two episodes uh, that we have watched besides the fact mentioned of course that he had a good heart we can't run away from the fact that they gave us an idea that for a gospel musicians he was a cheater a deadbeat dad when it comes to kids outside his marriage and also a liar according to ayanda's book so i don't know really um what made ayanda agree to all of this to all of this storyline because for me, I feel like she has been working really hard in order to protect and also continue his his legacy. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Do comment your thoughts at the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. As for me, guys, I'm signing out. I'll see you next time.